Of course, in the edit, you can cut out the boring bits, but it does seem like it was a pretty magical journey full of strange encounters. There was the sunfish off Japan and the whale. Not to mention those grizzly bears. This will be the most exciting moment since London. And of course the odd human she probably could have done without. If you'd have stayed on her much longer, I'd have plonked her. Silly prat. But mostly it just seems to have been an awful lot of cycling. And cycling for hours and days and weeks and paddling and of course rowing not to mention the plainly very frightening time she got caught in a storm and had to be rescued i i'm a bit scared and i don't like it anymore <laughs> so what was the journey well after starting in london sarah kayaked across the channel cycled through europe central asia china and russia and then kayaked on to Japan, cycling south, before her boat was damaged in a storm in the North Pacific and she was forced to fly home. A year later, she tried again, on wheels through Canada and the US, and on by sea, where she was rescued once more. Mostly, though, people tend to forget the agony and remember the ecstasy. But nothing can beat getting home and running into the arms of her fiancé, Lucy, even if she was faced with the inevitable question, why? For the adventure and the challenge and the learning and all the experience that comes with it and therefore all the kind of good energy you can put out from it as well. So there we have it, the perfect cure for the sedentary blues.